Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for iPhoneS.com and iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Today I'm showing you an excellent application called Solver. It's an awesome calculator and it's not your average calculator. We've covered a lot of these applications on iPhoneS.com. I do encourage you to go and check that list out. This one is a little bit different. If you look at it, you can realize that it's more advanced calculator in the sense that you can write, first of all, multiple expressions and you can get your numbers, keep track of them. You can keep track of a draft, upload to iCloud and Dropbox, but more importantly, you can add words. So let's say you're teaching someone something and you want to actually add words to help them understand. Also, you want to leave yourself comment as you are doing complex calculations. You can handle that all here. And you have your keyboards. You have these two. You can switch between them easily. If you want to disappear, you type on that. Now you click on that, tap on that. And when you have this, one, two, three keyboard on, you can swipe to the left or right to get different keyboards. So you can add numbers, you can have your sign, cosine, log functions, you have your conversions. Here's where you add your variables. And I have, as you can see the first line, I have A times 69 minus A1. So usually when you give it to a calculator, it doesn't know what to do because A and A1 don't really have a value. Even if you're doing hexadecimal, a has a value, A1 doesn't have a value, so you can't really go by that. If you tap and hold, you see the value is 25, and I defined it as 25, so that's why you get that. If you tap here again, you create a new variable, and you can say, I want the value to be 60, let's say 67. And if I go here, and I just type A2 and if I go back and just put it something we want to do something with this so let's say something like that and because you are doing multiplication first so A1 times A2 is going to be calculated first and then you subtract these numbers so that's how it works you actually have to remember the order of operators and you, this calculates first and then you get 69 so that's why if I change that number to let's say plus it changes because you're changing the order again and the way it calculates so I'm not going to get into math and how it works but the point is you can have your variables and use them in this application you can also as you see in the second line you can just say 34 oranges for $20 each I could have added a dollar sign I didn't but this gives you the number those words are not actually playing any role at just helping you understand what you're doing here especially if you're entering very entering problems from let's say you're studying a course in math and they give you these you know those problems you know if you have 20 oranges and what happens you we are familiar with those those funny questions you can add them here and get a better understanding if you have trouble. As far as conversions go, very easy to do. Let's, I'm going to show it to you how it works quickly. Let's say I want $100 and I want to see it in that. So $100 Chinese ones and there you go. So you get the numbers and quickly I didn't have to type the in. It very simply does the job. You can also do other functions, add different variables and so on and so forth. When you're ready, you can add a new page. You can keep track of your drafts. You can save your draft. Let's say I want to save that and you tap on that. You give it the title. and you save. And now if I go here, I can see my save files very easily. Now what what can you do with your save files? You can do a couple of things. You can share with others. You can also go to your settings and sync it with iCloud or Dropbox. You also have the option to do the draft open. You have the number of drafts that you can have. You can I covered sync, you have your keyboard options, 
if you want to add numbers, it makes it easier. You have tackling multiple problems. This makes it easier to track them. As far as keyboards, again, you have the option to turn them on and off. And as far as currencies go, you can go and add new ones. Let's say I want to add something that's not that common or some of, some of us may not famili be familiar with these. And you can just add them here. Let me add that. And let's just go and test it. Let's see if it's there. can find it here. It's at the bottom. There we go. I guess what I would do is maybe get the ordering right. I think the order maybe should be up here, right? So, but other than that, I mean, it's really just simple to do. I just, you just add what you want, the currency, whether it's there or not, you can just add the ones that you want and if it's not there by default and then you get the numbers, you just enter your information and this does the job for you. And obviously we don't correct currencies change. So, but you have the option to quickly figure out and get an idea what you're dealing with as far as the problems you're dealing with. And I would personally use this application more for these functions because that's what's important, especially if you're taking math course, they usually, ask you to do sine, cosine, log, ceiling, floor, absolute value, remainder, and you have your variables to deal with. So now let me get rid of that. As you can see, I can add lines. So let's say I want to add, let me fix that. Let me go here. and add line two. So here's the fun part. I could have done more elegantly, but here's the thing. You want to actually have a multi-step problem that the answer that you get in this step is relies on what you get in the last step. So you use that as a value and this is how you do it. So you, I could have said line one and the value changes. I could have also said line one, line two. So you really have a lot of options here. And I really can't say good enough things about this. You really have to play around with it to get a better idea how it works. But what I can tell you is you can define variables. You have all these useful keyboards. You, you have the option to add line numbering. You have iCloud support, Dropbox. You also have the ability to use the lines, values in lines to put together and solve complex problems. So sometimes your problems are going to have multiple steps. You need to take multiple steps, get one value, use that value to get another value. Think of it as chemistry, physics. These come handy and this application has you covered. As far as settings, simple to do. Just go and customize what you need and you're set. Solver. Go check them out, guys. They're really awesome. I'm very impressed with the user interface and what they've done. And it's not just your average calculator. So it's definitely worth checking out if you're taking a course, want to go back to college or school, or just want to have something that is more than just a regular calculator and can handle complex problems. This application has you covered. Also, please go and check our website, iPhoneS.com and iPhoneAppsFinder.com. And if you like this video, please rate and subscribe. Thanks again for watching, guys.